I'm Danny from Maker Ed. We work with educators in a lot of different settings, from classroom teachers to librarians to museum staff, and we get a lot of questions about makerspace safety. At Maker Ed, we like to say that every makerspace should be built on a culture of safety. We know that parents and educators can worry about the tools and equipment that get used in a makerspace, and building this culture of safety can go a long way to helping alleviate that worry and making sure the makerspace is as safe as possible. This means creating a space where learners and educators have a shared understanding of what it means to make safely. Although safety systems and protocols are going to look different depending on your space and your community, here are some steps that every educator can take to make sure they're thinking critically about safety. First, take some time to understand the specific risks and dangers presented by your makerspace. This means thinking about the tools available in the space, how they're organized and stored, and the specific safety protocol for how to use those tools appropriately. Second, develop understandings of safety as a community. This will include developing training around specific tools and materials and clear expectations for when and how to use them. Think about who has access to what. How can learners gain access to new tools? Can everyone use everything in your makerspace? If not, how will you decide who has access to what? Do certain tools or materials require special training in order to earn access to them? Have open, learner-driven conversations in your space about safety expectations. To encourage discussions during trainings, specific prompts might include, what do you notice about the tool or material? What do you wonder about it? What can it be used for? What might go wrong? Teaching learners to respect the tools and materials they have access to is a critical skill to foster within your makerspace. The ways in which you train students to use tools can go a long way to empowering learners and creating a culture of safety within your learning environment. Our third tip for promoting a culture of safety in your makerspace is using visuals. Well-designed signs allow you to present information in a clear, concise, and easily digestible way. Some examples of safety signs in makerspaces might include using eye protection, wearing closed-toed shoes, or keeping a first aid kit nearby. Remember, it's everyone's responsibility to promote safety within a makerspace, and that by working together, we can encourage a culture of safety as we engage in hands-on projects and learning.